Hello and welcome to this Neat Video tutorial in which we're looking at additional filters inside of Neat Video's Reduce Noise version 4. And in this particular tutorial we're going to look at dealing with dust and scratch issues and how Neat Video can really help. Now please note right at the front, this is not a panacea, this is not going to solve all your problems, but it can make an absolutely massive difference from taking video from being virtually unwatchable and distracting to being watchable and enjoyable. Now, this is the video that we've got at the moment. It's particularly noticeable in the darks. Let me just uh, select my timeline. And you can see, look at the dust and scratch issues there. And then it shifts to a, a lighter version. You can see huge dust and scratch issues. Now, neat video isn't going to solve all of your problems. It won't necessarily get rid of all of it. But what it can do is reduce it to the point whereby it is not a big issue. But you do need to make a decision. Neat Video is going to give you the option to be able to do a half reduction or a full reduction. A full reduction is going to get rid of most of the noise, such that it looks almost, well, nearer to new video. However, you might decide that for the audience that you're working with and the people who are going to watch this video, that you want to leave some noise in there so that people know it really is old film and not just being mocked up today. So you need to make that choice right at the beginning. Neat video, as I say, won't get rid of absolutely everything, but it can do a very good job of getting rid of most of the problems that are there. However, one of the things you must do, as with any neat video workflow, is that you must find a place where there is just noise that you can work with. Now, I've, you can see I've got neat video actually turned off here. And when I turn it on, you'll see that I've already built a noise profile. But the important thing here is that when you build your noise profile, you need to choose areas which are just pure noise. So if I actually turn it on, and I'm just going to click prepare, as you know, the workflow is the same in any application, and just make it a little bit bigger and we'll zoom in here. You can see that this is a clip with an awful lot of dust and scratches. When you're building your noise profile, you need to find places that have got just pure noise and you aren't including the dust and scratches inside. Because if you include the dust and scratches, Neat Video is going to say that's noise and it will then play with your noise profile and create something that's not going to look right. So you need to find places that are just noise and it could take a while to actually get to that stage. So if I go to my noise filter settings, you can see that that is filtered. So we've gone in and we found places which are just noise so that we filtered out the noise, but that then, of course, leaves the dust and scratches. So we've still got, as you can see, dust and scratch issues here. And if I just go between the various frames, you can see that in some places it's absolutely horrendous. Okay, so we want to actually get rid of this. And to do that, we actually need to go into the noise filter settings. And I want to be working mainly inside of the advanced tab, so tools advanced. If you're working inside the standard mode, you do still have dust and scratch issues over here and you can enable them, but it is a blunt instrument. In other words, you have no fine control over it. But even so, you can see it's done a fantastic job. Most of the noise and scratch issues have been dealt with. There are still bits and pieces but certainly you've not got that huge amount of, uh, of distraction that you had in previous versions. However, if you go from the tool's standard version to the advanced version, you'll see that you've got the option to go for full reduction or half reduction. In other words, it leaves something in there so that people can see it really is old film, but it's not distracting to the point of not really coping with it. So and you can actually enable that and disable it. So that's before and that's half reduction. Okay, and then we can actually go to full reduction and you can see before and after. Okay, so you can see what a massive difference it's making. But notice that there is also this issue of threshold. Now, the thing about threshold is that as you pull the, the, the item up and you start to get rid of more bits and pieces inside your film, so let's find one that's got sort of slightly worse noise. This one's got some. And we start to pull it up. Yes, we can actually get rid of more noise, but the higher you go, potentially, the more detail you may actually be removing from your video as well. So do bear in mind that although you can take this straight up to 500% and it kind of gets rid of most things or appears to, it might also be getting rid of detail. So it is actually going to be a balance between what's going to work best. So the default settings you can see is 150% reduction. You might say, well, I need a little bit more. So what we tend to advise is find a frame that's noisy and start to pull it up until it's not such an issue. So Set so this one at, at 300, 365, that's not too much of an issue. And then I can go between various other frames. And if you find another frame that really is terrible and you think, well, 
maybe I need to go up a little bit more there. You can perhaps get rid of a little bit more. But if you whack it straight up to 500, you're going to find that it doesn't necessarily get rid of everything and you might be losing the detail of your end result. So a balancing act. Choose what's going to work best. But once you've done it, that's it. You can just click apply and then go back in and actually preview it. Okay, So actually go through and check that you're happy with the end result, that it's not too distracting. So if I play a little bit, that's what it looks like now. You can still see plenty of noise, but it's nothing like the issue that was there before. And if we turn it off, we look at the, the original version, just click back, you can see that's what it was. And this is the end result, massively better. Now, one other word of caution. If the gate mechanism on the camera has put a constant scratch at the same place all the way through the footage, Neat Video isn't going to be able to get rid of that. You're going to have to deal with that in a different way. But for all the other random noise, dust, hair, all the bits and pieces that can get in from old film, you'll see that this really does a fantastic job and, as you saw, was incredibly easy to use. I hope you found this tutorial useful. My name's Andrew Davis, and thank you for watching.